Hello everyone, welcome back to another week in another video. My name is Alex. I'm a recent Hack Reactor graduate. I graduated from Hack Reactor two weeks ago and now like I'm in the job search looking for jobs and um it's just scary out there, you know, like it's not a, it's not the best, it's not the fun it's not like the most fun to do, you know, like looking for a job. But uh I'm not gonna be talking about I'm not gonna be talking about job search right now. I wanna be talking about how did I pay for my coding bootcamp, you know, because uh, I promised a lot of you guys that I was gonna make a video to talk about my experience and how did I, how was able, to, how I was able to do it. Uh, so if this, if this is the first time, if this is the first time that you watch one of my videos, just know that I have like a whole series about videos about Hack Reactor, and week after week. So in case you wanna watch them, just go ahead and take a look into the into those videos so to learn more about Hack Reactor. But uh, okay, so also another disclaimer, I'm gonna be looking into my screen just because sometimes I've, I go off topic. So I don't wanna go off topic, you know, like I wanna just talk about Hack Reactor and everything. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be looking into the screen just in case you're wondering. So okay, you should be watching this video in case you're curious. Uh, let me just close something really quick. There you go, okay. So you should be watching this video in case you're curious about how I was able to pay for it, like, or if you want to learn more about like different options, because I'm going to be explaining some things that you might find beneficial, given everything that is going on right now, as far as like, you know, like the economy and job search and all those things. So cool. Before I start, I'm going to really briefly tell you a little bit, a little bit about myself. So before. I went, before I was a full-time student in Hack Reactor, I worked in finance for almost four years. I like the industry, I enjoy working with the people, the job itself, um, even though it was fun sometimes, a lot of the, a lot of the things that I was doing, it was, rep it was repetitive uh, and kind of, of very manual, you know, like a lot of Excel, so yeah. So eventually, after working in, the, in a company for almost two years, I was, told, I was told by my manager that I have the option to continue working for the company. But if, in, if I wanted to continue working for the company, I needed to move to Austin, to relocate to Austin, Texas. And um, I mean, it seemed like a good idea, you know, because, you know, like, I'm obviously, like, you know, like, I'm young and... Uh, a new experience and everything like so those things basically kind of like appeal 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 me like you know to, in order to just to move to Austin but after talking to HR and learning more about the, the offer and everything else behind it I decided not to go for it just for different reasons so I was in a position that I needed to find what to do next you know so I felt like I, I remember like they told me like on, on I think like it was January they told me in January like that was what was gonna happen and I had until April to f basically find out my next move so uh, I started doing a lot of research and just learning about different things that I could do and actually uh, two months before I think like it was on October or November my friend graduated from Hack Reactor so he went to Hack Reactor and he liked he liked everything about it and he was getting interviews in different places and I don't know it seemed like it seemed like an interesting idea but I wasn't super sold on it just because again I went to I went to school for finance and I like finance and uh I don't know like I just feel like that probably wasn't gonna be the best thing for myself so uh I talked to HR and they told me I could qualify I was I mean in case I wanted I, I mean I will be able to qualify for unemployment benefits because I have been I have been working for a while and everything else. I'm sorry. Yeah, so um, I didn't I didn't know anything about unemployment benefits and anything like that. Oh, by the way, I'm in California. In case you're wondering where everything is happening, I'm in California. So like I don't know how things are gonna be for you if you're a different state. But in California, like I guess unemployment benefits are not super bad. Like I. Uh, like, like the amount that I was gonna be receiving will basically cover my rent and all my expenses. So I wasn't really like super, 
I wasn't like really worried about like what was gonna happen, you know, like because I feel like I could get a job eventually, because you know, like, I mean, yeah, like I had I had a decent background, so I feel like getting a job wasn't gonna be super tough. So yeah, oh, also, uh, I mean, I don't wanna make this controversial, controversial or anything like that, but I did have some people, like some friends of mine, been some a little bit negative about like the whole unemployment benefits because they were telling me like I shouldn't be getting unemployment benefits because I don't need them or whatever but uh so these are my taxes for 2019 just take a look into uh, right here I don't know if, you, if we can see this right here or not there you go so my taxes for 2018 I only got three dollars back you know I only got three dollars Three dollars back out of all the taxes that California took from my checks, so uh, I wasn't super upset about unemployment, you know, because I said, you know what, this is probably this is my money that I've been paying for, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get my money back. So yeah, sign me up for unemployment. Like I don't care, like whatever my friends think about, you know. So I started getting unemployment, and one of those one of those things that uh, is required for for unemployment, it's that you have to go to like a meeting. With like a lot of people, like I don't know, there was like 20 of us in the meeting, and they basically go over basic things such as how to grab a cover leather, where to where to look for jobs, maybe like LinkedIn, uh, Monster, Indeed, just really basic things, right? Like you, I actually found it really boring because it was it was a four-hour meeting. I think it was either three hours or four hours, but right at the end, like honestly, like right at the end, the lady, like the career the unemployment office lady she said that there's um there's something called californian training california training benefits actually gonna provide the i'm gonna provide a link to all of you guys in case you guys are curious about it and uh yeah so i did some research on it and actually that's how i found out that i could basically get hack reactor paid for so i, I look in the website and look into different different kind of different trainings that they will provide for anyone i honestly thought it was going to be something more kind of like a, helping you get, get your ged or helping you get your high school diploma or i don't know those, those kind of trainings you know but it actually ended up being a they have some uh they have some coding boot camps on the list not all of them i know like for example lambda school was in there and app academy was in there so all, some different boot camps were not there I don't know why, but I just, I mean, my, my, re I feel like the reason, the reasons are just because Hack Reactor in, in General Assembly, because General, General Assembly is also part of the, they were on the website. I think it's just the fact that they've been around for a while and they disclose all their information and results and I don't know. Anyways, so I was told that I could basically get california to pay for my coding bootcamp so you know like i said like you dude, that'd be that, that would be great so i um i signed up for premium prep hack reactor has something called premium prep where they teach you like the basics like they really like the basics and that's exactly what i needed because i didn't know any i didn't know anything about coding i started coding in september september of 2019 i started coding so premium prep was cool but honestly I feel like I, I wasn't taking it serious because I was actually interviewing for different companies. I was looking for jobs just because, you know, like I basically got laid off in April during May. I took some time off to kind of like just do whatever. So I started on May, on June and July. I started kind of like actively looking for jobs and interviewing, to com interviewing with companies. And I was getting different phone calls and everything else. So, but also I said, I said enough for premium prep in case... In case, um, yeah, in case I will get approved for Hack Reactor. So the process was a little bit lengthy. Like it took like four or five weeks because there was a lot of going back and forth, like a lot of different things, right? But I eventually got denied. So my local, my local unemployment office did not, uh, decided like they were gonna they were not gonna prove me to get a hack reactor paid for the reason was because i was a recent what did they say like uh i had i had i don't know the, i mean 
I think like the reason was like because I had a finance degree and I had been working for a while, you know, like in my, it was a really short gap of amount of time that I was looking for a job. So I think like they said, like I worked in my company for a while and it had only been off for like two, three months. So that's the reason why they wouldn't be able to cover my, my bootcamp. So I told the lady in Hack Reactor, like like the, per the person in charge of Hack Reactor, that if I did not get my 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 uh, the tuition paid for by California CTB, like the, the California Training Benefits, I was I wasn't gonna do Hack Reactor just because you know like that's that wasn't gonna be part of it. So she was really cool, like she actually was really understanding and she understood everything that I was coming from because you know like I did I didn't want to like sign up for a Income sh income share agreement. Uh, the main reason I didn't want it to is just because after doing some research and again, like something that I feel like it's super important is for you to do research, 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 and find out. And speak to people, ask questions. If I would have gotten a job after graduation in Hack Reactor, and I would have been making sixty five thousand, I was go I mean more than sixty five thousand. I needed to pay 600 bucks a month for 48 for 600 600 dollars for 48 months. It actually it would have been like almost 20 28,000 almost 30,000 dollars that I needed to pay back for 48 months. And yeah, like you can say whatever about like income share agreements, you might find them like the best thing ever. But for myself, at least personally, I didn't want to put extra pressure on myself to be paying 600 bucks a month. When in reality, I didn't feel like that was probably like, that, was, that wasn't gonna be like the best option for myself. I, I'm, I'm a huge believer of not having a lot of debt to your name. So I, that was basically it for me. Like if I, did, if I wasn't gonna get approved by the government, by you know, by California training benefits, I wasn't gonna do Hack Reactor. Uh, so luckily, I was fortunate because the, even though I was denied, the person in my local unemployment office told me that I could actually just uh, apply directly to like the main office in Sacramento, California. Uh, so that's what I did. I sent an application explaining them that I was already a Hack Reactor student and I was gonna be studying full time. So they needed to cover my expenses. And again, like the lady from Hack Reactor, she was super helpful. She was really nice. She was, she's amazing. Like she really helped me because there was a lot of different calls going back and forth. Uh, I was assigned this, uh, I was assigned an Asian, Asian lady. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I'm mentioning, I'm, I'm saying Asian lady because I don't want to be like, don't think that I'm racist or whatever, but I feel like that was really, that was really helpful. That she was an she was an Asian lady because she understood where I was coming from. You know, when I explained her that I wanted to ramp up ramp up my skills and learn coding for different reasons, she actually I feel like she took my side because you know, like my local unemployment office, uh, they're they're Hispanic like myself, so I feel like the mentality the mentality might be different. You know, like basically they might tell you like you know what you don't need to you don't need to learn how to code you're fine you have a finance degree you already went to college you, you're you're fine you just, just go to work but this lady took my side and she understood where i was coming from when i explained her like hey you know what if i do this there's a good chance that i might not i might not ever need more training you know like once i do it this is basically it you know like i'm gonna learn so much plus my background I'm gonna have a lot of different opportunities going on for myself. So she, after like a couple of months, she approved me and I was, I got everything paid for. By, by when, I, when I'm saying everything paid for, I have only spent, I, um, the only things that I spent money on, I bought a computer, uh, MacBook Pro, like, you know, like one of the ladies, just to have a really good computer and make my life easier. I bought the camera that I'm using to record the videos. I bought an extra monitor. I bought I bought a keyboard. I bought a headphones. Just different things like that. And the total cost out of packet was under four thousand dollars. And everything else was taken care of by California unemployment. So yeah, that's basically my story. I'm super. I feel like I was really fortunate. Because I did not feel like a lot of pressure as far as like as far as financially, right? Like I did not feel like really pressured financially. 
uh the only thing though like i guess like the only negative aspect of it i was told by the by unemployment the unemployment department after it got approved so the way this works right <laughs> the way this works they send you weekly they send you weekly payments so I, I didn't get paid i didn't get paid everything just direct i did not get ah sorry i didn't get everything paid directly but I was basically getting like bunch of chunks of money every week, week after week, to cover the tuition. So you, yeah, uh, I was yeah. I first I got money for the deposit, but after that was I was after that was due, I was getting money. I was I was getting chunks of money to pay Hack Reactor. So it would have been, for example, right? If I would have, if I wouldn't, if I would have gotten kicked out from Hack Reactor because a lot of people do. Hack Reactor is a hard pro, it's not easy, like it's tough. So if I would have gotten kicked out, I would have needed to pay Hack Reactor for the amount of money that I owe them. And I will basically need to pay back unemployment or explain explain why I got kicked out. But I, I had I mean the lady told me that I there could be a, there could be like a case that I needed to I will basically need to pay Hack Reactor and I will need to pay the, the government back their money for my education. So that was basically like the only thing that I feel pressure about, you know, like I, but it was actually kind of nice knowing that I needed to work hard because otherwise I would have been really screwed because I would needed to pay Hack Reactor and the government. So that's basically my story on how I got paid everything through my, through, through the government. So why am I telling you this? Because just like just like myself, you might find you might be finding yourself in a position that uh, you're probably thinking about like what to do or how to like how to go about it, and maybe you maybe you're in a position where you like you you lost your job or something. So I'm gonna provide all the links to everything that I told you, and if you're getting unemployment or if you're gonna get laid off, just know like you might qualify for like to you might qualify for like the same thing I qualify for. I don't know like if I don't know like if it's gonna be different if you're in a different state. I mean I'm in California so things are differently. But hopefully uh you're able to um Yeah, I mean hopefully you find this video helpful. And if you have any questions, you shoot me a message and I'll try to reply. And uh yeah, again, like I'm being super honest with everything that I'm telling you. Uh I hope I, I hope this was helpful. And but if you have any questions, please just reach out and I'll Try to reply as soon as possible, okay? Uh, see you later, guys. Stay home. Stay home. Be safe. Be healthy. And I'll see you guys soon.